the Economic Association of Namibia in collaboration with the Namibia Investment Promotion and Development Board and Hans Seidel Foundation proudly announced the Namibia Green Hydrogen Conference 2022 recently. The conference is slated to take place on the 16th to the 17th of August 2022 and will be entirely funded with support from the private sector and non-governmental organizations. Now joining us to give us more insight is uh, Jason Kasuto, who is the board chairperson of the Economic Association of Namibia. Jason, good evening and welcome to the Daily Roundup. Good evening. Jason, just to start with, talk to us about what the key objectives of this conference is. Well, of course, um, green hydrogen has started to play more and more of a central role um, globally around uh, energy efficiency and decreasing dependency on fossil fuels, as well as with the outcry around climate change. So green hydrogen is really becoming a a vital source of energy, or one would say an energy uh, source for the future. And as well as with industries moving towards decarbonizing, Namibia has positioned itself to actually have great potential based on its wind, sun, uh, and coastline or seawater natural resources that are in abundance to be able to become a key player in the green hydrogen space globally. So really with that, um, what's very key is, is to ensure that the country has got the right regulatory environment and of course, key infrastructure, not only uh, capital, but also human infrastructure. And because of those requirements and so forth, um, it, 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 we saw it important to, to host a, a conference where we bring minds together, but we also demystify uh, the, the concept of green hydrogen so that the common man on the street is able to understand this what seems to be quite a complex subject, but also taking the time to actually um, look at some of the requirements that the country would, 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 would need in order to make a success of this opportunity. Speaking of allowing the common man to understand what's happening, we've heard of numerous possibilities of this project, but how does it translate you know, to the ordinary Namibian and the direct changes um, they will benefit from? Absolutely. Um, you know, and that's, a, and that's a very good question. And I think that is one of the key emphases that the conference would have is to unpack these opportunities for, for the average Namibian to understand what role do they play in this entire value chain. Of course, green hydrogen comes with a value chain along with it, uh, apart from the investment that comes in. And that ranges from quite a number of things that would build new industries from solar to wind energy, to education, to fertilizer industries, and so forth. Quite, quite a lot of other industries would, would play a role. So really without unpacking what is, 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 is to be foreseen and unpacked during the conference, it would really serve the role of, of, of saying, how do I, or how does the common man on the street, the average Namibian play a role in this value chain? Namibia has already awarded hyphen hydrogen energy to develop the country's first green hydrogen project. Does Namibia have the human resources skills to carry out this project? And furthermore, how are you know you going to ensure that the youth especially are not left out of this project? Absolutely. I think the appointment of hyphen is a key signal of Namibia's um, uh, seriousness around implementing a green hydrogen industry. Of course, um, from what is available in public, of course, that uh, that 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 is there is that hyphen has been uh, has been awarded to undertake a feasibility study. I believe that part of that feasibility study would be looking at the human capacity or human resources available uh, to 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 support. The green hydrogen industry of course this is a nascent or a new industry for namibia um, it would require skills that may not be necessarily here but i think the emphasis would be how do we transfer those skills right. to ordinary namibians in order for us to gain new skills within a new industry and and that should be part of the focus really mm -hmm. talk to us about the target audience for this conference who are the participants and how can the public get involved 
Absolutely. So we're looking at um, 400 uh, delegates coming, uh, participating. Of course, participation is open to the public. We're looking at the private sector, both local and international private sector players. We're looking at uh, public sector players from, from government and state-owned enterprises, as well as civil society, uh, community groupings or community groups uh, are coming, as well as academia. So at a broad stroke, those are the stakeholders that we're looking at coming and it's not closed off to the public. Jason Casuto, thank you so much for your time this evening and thank you for joining us here on the Daily Roundup. Thank you for having me.